Today's video is going to be a little bit different as we are going to talk about the 4K release of Dune Part 2. Thanks to Warner Brothers for sending me this copy. If you're wondering why I didn't talk about Dune Part 2 sooner, considering it is the best movie of the year so far, it's because my twin daughters were born two days after it came out. You can now stream Dune Part 2 on Max and of course buy it on physical media. I'm not sure at this point what I can add to the conversation surrounding Dune Part 2, other than it's one of those films that's going to be studied for some time. Not just on the filmmaking sense of cinematography, music, performances, screenplay, and how the mise-en-scene all works together to create this blocking masterpiece of epic proportions on top of the thematic undertones of everything going on and being wary of charismatic leaders and blind faith and fighting evil with evil. There's so much to unpack, but also just in taking adaptations to another level. Adaptations are a fickle thing. And sometimes translating those things, if you change too much, you make people mad. If you change too little, you're a little bit boring. But also if you change too little, it may not work in live action. And Doom Part 2 expertly balances all of these things, making necessary changes from the book to make it work better. In fact, in some ways, I've heard a few friends who are big fans of the book say that it does certain things better than the book does. It retains the innate weirdness of the story while also magnifying the epic scale. It is a near perfect film with only a few nitpicks for me, mainly being that I wanted to see more of Fade Rotha because Austin Butler was phenomenal, but he, how he's used is great. I just wanted more of him. So maybe he's a tad underutilized. And probably the most shallow but biggest complaint I have is that the big final spectacle of a battle is absolutely incredible, but over all too short. Now I've heard it's also shorter in the books and they did a really good they did justice by it. But I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't want more. There's impactful moments where things happen off screen. Love it. But come on, man. Show it to me. Now, if you're like me, you have a local theater who really struggles with having a good projector, good image quality. So a lot of times, and I only say this as someone who doesn't have the really nice AMCs or Cinemarks or Regals or whatever, watching films at home can actually sometimes be a better experience for me. Now, I'm a big fan of subtitles as well, mainly from the idea of I have children and if I'm watching things, it's easier to pick up on something if I've lost it, but also subtitles let you see things in the script that maybe you didn't catch before. Make, make, make sure you hear dialogue that you didn't understand. They add to the experience for me, but I don't expect theaters to have those, so I get that. But Denny news films like Christopher Nolan's films, often I think subtitles enhance the experience. I didn't really have that issue with Doom Part 2, but I was looking forward to seeing the little things I missed, and there were little things I missed. I also have a Neo QLED 4K TV, which is a higher end, but still in the affordable range of 4K TVs. Got it on sale on one of the holidays. I recommend doing that. Getting this 4K, to me, let me truly see the depth and beauty of Dune's image. You can ask my wife or anyone who knows me. I am very picky about the picture settings on my TV and will go to extreme lengths to make sure that they are to my liking for a cinematic experience. Like if you have any kind of motion smoothing or motion clearing, motion clear plus, whatever you want to call it on your TV, turn it off. Rich black levels without being crushed, balanced vibrant colors, even though most of it's brown, <laughs> like a golden brown because it's Dune. I just was in awe at the beauty of the cinematography, plus the transfer on a 4K disc being as large as it is file size wise, allows the room for this to really bring out the bit rate that is much higher than you will ever get on streaming. That's one of the reasons physical media is always better. It legitimately is better because it has higher bit rate because the discs are f large file sizes. They don't have to be compressed like they do when you stream over the internet. And frankly, this is one of the best 4Ks I've ever seen in that sense. It's got some pretty nice packaging too. I'm a big fan of slope covers. I know some people don't like them. And if you don't, you're wrong. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I really appreciate that it actually came with one. Um, and the, the back is, you know, got a really like cool image of Fade Rafa and Paul fighting. Um, it's got a nice little tag from one of the critics who reviewed it at Variety and a uh, good little paragraph that's not too much. And just enough from the images to like not spoil things if you haven't seen it. I do appreciate the 4Ks explain that you have to have a 4K player to be able to watch it. That's something that I never really paid attention to before. 
And of course, explaining that the digital movie code with Movies Anywhere, which is honestly the best way if you're going to do those. It also talks about the bonus features being an over an hour of bonus features, and it kind of lists all the different things there. Uh, but I will say, I, I haven't checked these out yet, uh, mainly because I'm a twin dad now. I've got three kids. Creating the Fremen World, Chakabosa Training, Worm Riding, Deeper into the Desert, The Sounds of Dune, and more. Now, I looked up some information that says there's over 90 minutes of bonus materials, which is pretty great. I love seeing that. I love that there's so much to explore from it. I will say, maybe from a film from this magnitude, I was expecting even more bonus features, especially when you look at something like The Lord of the Rings, and which Dune is often compared to, like Lord of the Rings being the fantasy equivalent like and what it did for that genre versus Dune being the sci-fi equivalent. They're kind of two sides of the same coin, but opposites in what they like try or are trying to tell you story-wise and their tones and everything. Those films have dozens of documentaries and hours and hours and hours of how they made the movie and all the different little aspects. And I'd love to see more of that with this. Maybe that's a ridiculous expectation for a 4K release, but I'm still glad they dip up bonus materials on here because I'm finding them there's less and less as we get older. They don't they don't pack them rich as full anymore as they used to. The biggest disappointment, and this isn't on the release or whatever, this is actually on the director, is there's no deleted scenes. Now, I know not all directors are fans of deleted scenes. I think I've read that Denny Villeneuve doesn't like them. If it's deleted, it doesn't belong in the movie and you don't need to see it. The director chose to cut it for a reason. And I respect that. But at the same time, I think for people who are curious about you know the filmmaking process and what was cut out why the decisions behind it especially since this is an adaptation i would have liked to see what was cut because i'm sure there was material cut all in all though dune part two the 4k release from warner brothers is spectacular i cannot recommend recommend highly enough please get physical media it is sadly a dying format but the fans are keeping it alive and just remember that when streaming takes away your favorite movies or you buy a digital movie that you can no longer use because they revoke the license. If you have a disc, you can always watch it. Plus, if you're into gaming at all, or if you have a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, you have a 4K player right there. But that is one other disappointing thing. They have started removing the Blu-rays from 4K packaging, uh, the standard Blu-rays along with the 4K. I really appreciate it when they do that because 4K players are harder to come by, or Blu-ray players are, have been around so long. So it sucks this does not have that. Great 4K, phenomenal movie, probably movie of the year. And by the way, I give Doom Part 2 5 out of 5 stars. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, always look for the good.